All right, so we got the new moon in Aquarius at the moment. So this time I basically get rebellious, get unique, get original, get serious. And of course, focus your attention towards where you got it at in your house, which would be the sun. So you're going to be utilizing four planets, the sun, the moon, Saturn, and Uranus. So you got to combine the four. And of course, you got to get ready to transform, go through new sense and scenarios and new associations in your life. And you got to basically start taking action. So that's basically all that energy that you're basically putting out. It's going to be a big ball drop on the full moon. And, of course, it's going to be in Leo. So, of course, wherever you have Leo at, this is going to be the energy that's going to basically throw you off task or basically take you out of proportion. But wherever you have it at in your charts, these are going to be the areas where you basically need to learn how to be self, be a humanitarian, associate yourself with the public, and also be unique and original, of course. This is how you're going to gain structure and, of course, stability and security in your life, being that Saturn is here. And, of course, Saturn basically... What new ways to build and Saturn loves taking his time, so you got to take your time with building in, with individuals, building with associations, or building with the right people, places, and things. And of course, if these individuals are not in the perspective, you may have to basically change, oppose, or rebel against them when it comes to your uniqueness, your Uranus. The Uranus wants you to change, it wants you to basically get ready to put up a fight. Saturn wants you to get serious, and of course, make it a routine. The Sun wants you to basically make it a day to day basis of basically. Sign your solar ego, and of course, direct it towards which you need to take it to cahoots. And of course, the moon wants you to basically have the right mood swings, the right way to basically go about things when it comes to your reactions, and basically what you're responding to certain things. So, you want to be basically responding to the right things because if you're responding to negative shit, that negative shit is going to basically go right into the um moon wax and of course you're going to get that shit right back so you want to make sure that you're putting your time and your energy towards shit that's going to make you feel comfortable shit that's going to make you feel you know good and not smothered or basically not having you basically stuck into a cage from because curious is all about change being unique being a humanitarian having everybody have their own piece of the cake and of course have their own pies and eat it too so of course if you're not eating your own pie not eating your own cake that means you have to basically go to the extremes and basically go get it and of course you don't want to basically do, be doing that so this is about getting getting your freedom and having your own shit and of course getting serious and getting focused on it for me you also got the planet of uranus in Taurus, so it's kind of sleep here so wherever you got that um wherever you got scorpio at <clears throat> you need to basically go ahead and dive deep in that area so this could bring the two and two together with Taurus. Then wherever you got Saturn in that, you need to get focused on that area. And of course, wherever you got Leo at, that's going to oppose that. And wherever you got the sun at, which is Aquarius, that's going to oppose that. Because of course, the sun is kind of like, you know, being in Aquarius, being at it's Leo. It's kind of like, it's going to be some tensions here too. So it's going to be some areas where you need to basically focus on releasing and getting ready for the